Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Scrappy Saturday. This is the car we're going to be making today. Um, I have a lot of men that I need to send cards to, and I just had a hard time finding and coming up with men's ideas. So, um, I used, uh, I bought this Guy Greeting stamp set, and I use it all the time. This is a great one to have to come up with men's things. And so, I've used this one. I use the hats on there. And hats off to you all on this particular card. And then, I have this one that I received as a free gift. Um, and it is called Simply Wonderful. And I use the thanks so much, thanks so very much off of that. And so, anyway, um... I'm going to just show you how to make this one. This is a very quick card. Um, first of all, this Hello Honey, uh, the yellow, is um, cut at four and a quarter by 11, and then it's scored at um, five and a half. Then on the inside, I just, I just used white in here, and I did it, um, at um, three and three quarters by five and a quarter and that's where I use the thanks so very much and I've already got that stuck in here uh, this one came from the design the designer paper and it's got lots of purples and hello honey and this the island indigo in it and it's it's a designer pack that you can find in the catalog um, the regular catalog, annual catalog, and so it's wonderful. I have used it on so many men's cards. It, it is great with the colors to be used for men's cards set, instead of just sending everything that's black and brown and dull. So anyway, this is one of the designer sheets. It looks like this on the back, and I'm going to use that um, um, behind the hats, but this is what I'm going to be putting right here. I'm going to go ahead and put it there This piece is cut at four And a quarter I mean no four and an eighth by five and three eighths So I have to work carefully to get this stuck in here My blades are getting dull and my order hasn't come in where I ordered them and so I'm having to trim these when I found a little place left on it. Excuse me for that, but you know, you'll find it. If you do this long enough, you'll find that some that dull blades do not make for good cuts. So anyway, that's what I'm having to do is trim this up. Because I don't want to lose the card. That's the other thing you'll find out is you do whatever you can to stretch that card stock. All right, so I've got that on there. Now I have this piece that is cut uh, three by, and this is the Island Indigo. Um, this is cut three by five maybe five and a quarter three by five and a quarter and I don't have the the uh, punch yet that cuts the flags out I'm just doing it the old-fashioned way and you notice I didn't really go up very high with this flag um, I have kind of marked this where I can find the center of it and I'm just doing it by myself cutting it and then we will We'll just use it like that. That's one thing about it. If there's something you don't have, um, sometimes you can just improvise. And for me, that was one. There's so much stuff that I wanted that um, I felt like, well, I can actually do that myself so I can get something else and put that one off for a little while. And then I've got the flag right there. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and stick this one on. I hope 
hope I'm not getting out the screen, but um, all I did was put the the tape on. Well, the you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sometimes the words don't come to me when I'm trying to talk. Okay, now on this piece of white paper, I'm going to take my Island Indigo stamp pad. And I am going to stamp. I've already got the hats right here. I'm going to stamp. I'm just trying to make sure I ink on it really good. You know, this one's kind of got some spaces in it because it's supposed to have this sort of space. So, and I'm not worried about exactly how anything being straight uh, straight or not because I am going to cut it out there we go and I do clean it after I use it that way they don't get so stained not a, not that that really matters I don't guess but anyway and now I'm taking my two and a half inch punch And I'm going to punch this one out, I think. Actually, I don't have it close enough, so I'm going to have to cut off some of this. You don't want to get it too far that it won't get in the punch, but then you got to get it far enough down that um, you can get this centered. All right, here we go. And I think that looks pretty good good and I'm gonna punch it all right there are my hats whoops I'm gonna break this thing trying to get it shut and caught now I'm going to take my island indigo and I've got it on a sponge here and I'm just sponging around this as good as I can because I want the edges uh, to not be so stark white and now I am going to put this circle right on the top here and I'm just putting it down straight on the on this flag and this is three inches and this is a three inch circle so it actually goes end to end then I'm going to pop this up these are little ones that I have got lots of and I haven't bought any in a long time, but I just can't seem to get them all used up. So, anyway, we're trying to get those used up because I'm not wasting any. I did order dimensionals from Stampin' Up! this time because I'm like, I really want to use those dimensionals. It's just that I haven't really had an opportunity with because I had so many that I had in stock from before I started stamping up. Okay, and um, there we go. Uh, just sticking that, popping it up, and sticking it right there. Well, on this, I'm going to stamp my cin uh, this thing that's uh, my sentiment. Hats off to you. And there again, I thought it went well with the thanks so much because... I had uh, heard the story about the lady who felt like she was too old to have a ministry or a mission and so she was encouraged to use her skills as a writer to write letters um, to prisoners and um, as I said she and she wanted a ministry she was a Christian and and um, ended up that she was one that Chuck Colson mentioned in a book because she had such an impact on the prisoners because of the letters she wrote and um, I'm like you know that's what I need to be is an encourager 
Now, I'm not sending letters to the prisoners, at least not at this time, but we do have a lot of people in our church that needs to be encouraged, and I'm starting with the group that works, um, that service as deacons, and so, anyway, they, I'm going to be sending these out for our deacons. Now, I am looking for the middle of this, which is about right here. And now I am going to, actually I'm going to make this flag a little deeper. I'm going into there and from each corner. Oh, I know the punch would be easier, but you know, this is one thing I can do and that means I can get more stamps and stuff. Anyways, <laughs> um, then, oh, where's my other piece? I've got a little piece that I can't seem to find of this paper. Uh, okay, I'll look for it in just a minute. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and sponge it. and I raise it up so that's what I'm about to do here next week I'm going to be doing a Christmas card out of our new um, our new holiday catalog. Oh, it's so much fun, and I had been working on it today, and um, actually it's a rather lengthy one because it um, requires a lot of steps to do it, but it turned out gorgeous. And so anyway, but that one will be next Saturdays. Here I have my finished card. Very simple, very quick. Hats off to you. Thanks so very much. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope I can be this quick every time. You will find on the screen all the different sizes and everything that I cut. And I thank you for joining me. Please come back again. Thank you.